The story of the miraculous infant Jesus of Prague dates back more than 400 years. A statue of the holy infant in the beautiful royal dress of a king was brought to Prague, Czechoslovakia as a precious memento of her native country, Spain, by Maria when she was married to a Czech nobleman in the year 1556. The statue is 18 inches tall and crafted of wax coated wood. The left hand holds a miniature globe surmounted by a cross signifying the worldwide kingship of the Christ child. The right hand is extended in blessing. The first two fingers are appraised to symbolize the two natures of Christ. According to an old legend, the statue was modeled by a pious friar to whom its model had been revealed in a vision by the holy infant. Tradition also holds that this statue was once possessed by St. Teresa of Avila. Later, Maria's daughter, Princess Polyxenia, had received the miraculous statue as a wedding gift from her mother, which was previously brought from Spain. For some time, let's keep this story aside and let's see a story of the Carmelite monastery. In the year 1620, November 8, Ferdinand II, Emperor of Austria, gained a very big victory over the United Protestant armies in a battle fought near the city of Prague. He attributed the victory to the special intercession of the infant Jesus. Before the signal was given to attack, the Catholic leaders were present there in the place of battle. In their midst was a saintly and learned Carmelite priest, Father Dominic of Jesu Maria, and he is holding upward a picture of our Lord's nativity. The holy priest encouraged them to go forth to battle with unwavering confidence in the all-powerful help of the infant Jesus and they did so. Their trust in the Christ child was richly rewarded. The enemy was defeated. In gratitude for the favor and in recognition of the valuable services rendered by the Carmelite priest, the emperor found a Carmelite monastery at Prague, Bohemia in the year 1624. Coming back to the first story, in the year 1623, Prince Lobkowitz died. Thereupon, Polyxenia, the princess, resolved to dedicate the remaining of her life to Christian works of charity, and the Carmelite religious were among her favorite. In the year 1628, the Carmelite monastery had been reduced to poverty, and this was because of the ravages of war. Then the princess gave her precious statue to the Carmelites, saying, I give you what I prize most highly in the world. Honor and respect the child Jesus, and you shall never be in want. Her gift was then placed in the Carmelite Oratory. The words of the princess proved prophetic, for as long as the Carmelites kept up their devotion to the divine infant of Prague, everything prospered with them. Then in the year 1631, the Swedish Protestant army invaded Prague. Churches, monasteries, and sacred images were destroyed. The Carmelite monastery was also plundered, and the religious were pushed out, and the precious statue was seized and thrown into a heap of rubbish. Both hands of the statue broken off in the fall. The statue remained there for seven years. Later, when peace had been restored, the monks had once more taken possession of their property, and the Carmelites came back to the monastery. To the community, there came a father named Cyrilus, who as a novice had an extraordinary devotion to the infant saviour. This priest firmly believed that the statue still existed. He searched for it everywhere and finally discovered the statue in a heap of rubbish. Then tenderly he replaced the statue in the oratory. When the priest kneeled down and was praying, he heard these words from the statue. Have pity on me, and I will have pity on you. Give me my hands, and I will give you peace. The more you honor me, the more I will bless you. Later, a sick patient gave the priest a generous donation to pay the expenses required for the repair of the statue. The priest had the statue repaired, and then he placed the statue in the oratory. From that time to the present, devotion to the divine infant Jesus of Prague has continued to spread throughout the world. The original statue is still preserved in the church of St. Mary of Victory in Prague. Today, replicas and models of the small statue are honored in every part of the world. 
The list of blessings attributed by devotees of the infant Jesus is endless. So this was a beautiful history of the infant Jesus of Prague. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.